Welcome to Charles Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Monday the 29th of March comes to you from London. Um, we're now in summertime in the UK and uh, the uh, coronavirus release is very welcome uh, today. We're, we're allowed to meet in gardens now. Uh, of course, we'll look at the coronavirus stats and we'll also take a look at some of what's uh, happening in sewers as well. Uh, in terms of markets, we've got a mostly green on the screen. Uh, so things are looking uh, like a relatively good start to the week before we actually look at the numbers. The dollar index is a bit flat at the moment, but bullish on the short term and medium term charts. Uh, dollar strength continues to be the theme. And we're seeing here the euro stuck below that 118 level against the dollar bearish on the short term chart with downside targets. Sterling sitting at 138.70, uh, sorry, 138.16 at the moment. Uh, so uh, just looking better on that short term chart, uh, medium and long term bullish. So sterling starting to show its strength again against that stronger dollar against the euro is sitting at 117.43. Big kick up this morning. Uh, so uh, UK looking strong, of course, vaccine, vaccine numbers and lower COVID numbers helping in the UK at the moment. Bitcoin sitting at $56,000 back into bullish short term territory, upside target to 57,500. So looking a bit better there. Uh, the S&P 500 index had a good day on Friday uh, and an up candle for the week. So we are looking still pretty good on US stocks. The Nasdaq still has work to do. Nowhere near making that high that we saw back in February. So Nasdaq stock still uh, looking a bit more bearish. The futures are down this morning. We're seeing the S&P future down 0.6% and the Nasdaq E-mini down by a similar amount so it does suggest US markets will open lower that means that the VIX volatility has kicked up uh, not enough to really worry about at these uh, low 20s level but uh, the VIX has kicked up on the basis of that the FTSE future down half a percent this morning the DAX in Germany uh, that FTSE future probably been a stick uh, we're seeing the FTSE being affected by stronger sterling probably uh, remembering that two-thirds of uh, FTSE 100 companies earnings are in uh, foreign currency looking at the DAX we're up slightly in Germany holding those highs that we saw the cat current uh, up very slightly as well Japan was up overnight up 0.5 percent uh, the Hang Seng was flat the Shanghai composite was up half percent just turning a corner here the Sensex had a bad week last week we see that uh, negative candle there on the weekly but on the daily we're holding strength and short term we are still uh, bearish below the cloud the Aussie market was down a third of percent just struggling there the resource laden index obviously Taking a look at uh, commodities, looking at precious metals first of all, uh, gold is sitting at 17.25, so we're short term bearish, just struggling to make headway there. Silver down over 1% this morning, again short term bearish, and for the first time this uh, daily chart just not looking so good. Uh, looking at the uh, bond yields in the US, 1.66% there uh, bullish on all three time frames the 30-year yield sitting at 2.37 percent so looking strong there as well so bond yields kicking up looking at the energy mix now we put our report out on brent crude last week uh, looking at the medium and longer term for the year uh, we're down one percent a lot uh, of news flow on sewers of course uh, in fact looking at our energy mix for this week we put our report out to clients very little change in the energy uh, calls so that's quite interesting that not much change this week this is looking like a head and shoulders on crude oil and of course we have put out the report giving targets for the medium and longer term picture uh, looking at uh, WTI we are range bound here as well so at the moment we're neutral for the week we've just got to wait for the break uh, WTI it's 5761 uh, US NAT gas looking a little bit better uh, uh, we're, we're neutral here as well, but we do have more upside targets, so that is quite interesting. Coal looking strong, uh, emissions not really showing their hand. Interesting looking at the sewers stats. Uh, if we look at, uh, these, these are the stats on ICON, a fascinating screen this. Uh, looking at the stats, coal is the most held up, uh, stuck in dry bulk uh, commodity, LNG and crude oil also held up. So that's quite interesting just looking at those stats. But of course, the charts reflect everything that everybody already knows about the market. Um, gas markets looking not so good this morning. 
Uh, NBP down 3.7%, TTF down nearly 3%. Uh, we we turn a little bit neutral on uh, the front month contracts, but the uh, we are seeing that the uh, seasonal contact is still bearish with that downside target. German power down also now showing its hand was flat when at the open, but now just starting to open. We're seeing power markets coming off a little bit. Looking at the coronavirus stats, uh, here's so here we're looking at cases rising quite strongly in Germany, France. Uh, we're looking at. Uh, 551 cases per mil versus 77 in the UK, uh, 195 in Germany. So cases are definitely climbing in Europe. Poland looking very worrying. That's on the case number. Uh, by the way, you can get these uh, stats in your updater system really straightforward from the uh, libraries. So um, if you go to the library for layouts, look at our world in data. Um, and there's those three same for you just to download these screens straight into your updated system. All updated systems have the um, coronavirus stats available to you from our world and data. Looking at the death rate, uh, slightly more morbid. Um, we are seeing here Romania, it's looking very worrying. A kick up in France as well, which is worrying. It's uh, five times higher than in the UK at the moment. So that is also worrying Poland, we're seeing rises there as well. So real problems uh, developing there in Europe on this third wave. Vaccinations wise, we're at 48% now in the UK. Looks like we'll break 50% in the next day or two. Uh, we're seeing nearly 15% in France and Germany. So things are looking better. The problem is that uh, the vaccination rates are still fractional and that is having a, a, an effect in terms of being able to hold the virus. And uh, so that's, that's really the stats. That's it for today. Keep an eye on these uh, stats and we be interesting to see whether these are affecting the markets. Uh, until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.